Nathan, I'm Nate. I'm Rox. And this is The Bourbon Barrel. And we have a very special blind for you today because today everything is 86 proof, which is not restaurant slang for kill proof. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and that, and I told you that. That's, yeah. That literally comes from bourbon. Yep. Like, there was a time in the 80s or whatever where every every company was just getting it down to 86 proof. Get it to 86. And when something wouldn't sell, they would just be 86. It. Just 86. It. Just put it as 86 and somebody will buy it. I never knew that until I saw that until you documentary. Told me. Like, and that was like a m couple months ago. That wasn't even before we started doing this. It was like just a different documentary than some of them I've seen. Yeah. An incredibly interesting thing. I right. never would have thought. Anyway. So today, for the blind, we have Angel's Envy. True story. The New York expression, Great Jones. That won our New York episode. Yes. That was our favorite of the three we've tried from New York thus far on our show. And then this one that I've never heard of is the William Wolf. Sure. I've, I've never heard it, seen it. I don't know anything about it. Um, this one I know it was, this was a PX Sherry Cask or just a regular Sherry Cask finish? I don't know. Sorry. Port wine. Okay. Port wine. Port, port wine. wine. Sorry. I knew there was red So involved. this is this is You're a port right. wine finish. This one, neither of these are finished, right? But all three of them are 86 proof. True story, absolutely true. So, without further ado, we're gonna go stage right to uh stage left for you folks, right? Yep, so wait, we're gonna go stage right for those folks, so I'm going left. That is Let's make it sure we're doing this right. So, and I said to you, even because this bottle's not a clear glass, no, that is a brown it. glass, Here. right? Yeah, all right, <laughs> sure. I didn't make a joke. I'm just out of bed, Rufus. All right. Dead air. Anyway, all right. Anyway. Good. They all are very similar in color. Yes, like, they, are. they are. As far as now, like, I had to use a different glass than a gallon Karen for one of my glasses because it's dirty, and we don't do dirty. That's right. Unless you pay us enough, <laughs> then we'll do dirty. So yeah, so. we smoked in the last episode. We'll dirty in the next one. Anyway. Um, you gotta watch the. Uh, I gotta release that one first. Well, now. now you know you don't. No, you don't. He doesn't have to. We we did an episode where we smoked some cocktails. Yes, we did. So anyway, well, he where he smoked some cocktails. I did. I did smoke them. They were delightful. I did not smoke them because he smoked them, and we're talking about cocktails. That's interesting. There's a sweetness. You're going left, right? All of it. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> You're going left, correct? Okay, good. Just making sure I was on some page with you. Jesus. Interesting. Anyway, this is a very awkward, not awkward, but busy time for me for like a week to 10 days and we're filming because I have a, my son's birthday is today. My birthday is in a couple of days. And the same day as my birthday is my mother in law's birthday. And three days later is my daughter's birthday. And it's all within a week. So um, this might all about seem, that birthday bash. Yeah, might seem a little hustled, but it's not. It's really not as far as like, Aside from this, but as I was telling him when I brought this into it and said, why don't we do an 86 flight? Because this one's 86. When we've done blinds, we've done a lot of them, if not all of them, I'd have to check. Or two of them we've tasted before and one of them we never even tasted. And not only did we not taste it this one, but if you want to add and say it's like a quadruple blind yes. or a triple, what would, what would be for five? How would you say that blind? Uh, quintuple. Quintuple blind. See, so smart. Um. I and mean, I don't know if we're at that, but I'm just saying, like, when you get to those weird blind, like, I didn't even research this, because we talked about this last night, and I was like, I got 386s, why don't we try that? We had this and this, we never had this, maybe this one will win, and we didn't, never even, you know, and it does say, the one thing we know on the bottle, as of now, and I'll do more research, and we'll probably reintroduce this in some other, if we get a South Carolina episode, it says, produced and bottled by Wolf Distilleries, North Charleston, South Carolina, meaning, theoretically, all of it's from them, yep. and all of it's in South Carolina, so... And it's a, uh, what is it? Traditionally crafted bourbon whiskey, 86 proof, batch number four, 86.8 proof, if you want to be, bottle number 626. But it doesn't give any more information as far as anything else. Is it like mash bills or did get 92 points from liquor rank? I don't know who In that 2016. Is. That was a while ago. So, anyway. I've literally bought and sold a house since then. <laughs> <laughs> I've... Done a lot of shit. I, I didn't buy and sell a house, and I've been in the same house since 2016. But anyway, so we're going left to right. Anyway, I don't know, whatever. And it wasn't super expensive, but none of these are super expensive. Like That's this true. was around 30 for me, 20 high 20s with tax, and then 30. This was around 35. What does Angel's Envy go for? It's about 40, 45. I think it's 35, 40. And maybe it's there. like because that one's finished in the port yeah. casks or whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna, without further ado, yeah. 
Anyway, nonetheless, I don't hate the nose on my left. And we're doing 86s. We have to remember that these are 86s. That's true. We're not expecting not super high proof. And Great Jones is from Manhattan, opened in early 2021 as far as their restaurant and their distillery being able to do tours and stuff. They're four year old bottles in small batches. And 100% of their grains come from New York the corn, the barley, and the rye. The tasting notes they say are vanilla, white pepper, and vegetable on the Great Jones. Um, that's the one I have the notes for right here. Okay. I know this one was started by Lincoln Henderson, who used to be the head distiller at Brown Foreman and oversaw everything at Old Forester, Jack Daniels, and Woodford. Uh, he's actually kind of coined as being responsible for Woodford Reserve and Jack Daniels, uh, Gentleman Jack, uh, Lincoln Henderson, who has since passed away. Or some piece. Anyway, those are the things I remember of these two that, oh, man, I got some for this one, but none for this one in front of me, so... Um, so my left hand one's got a little bit of spice on the tongue, um, definitely a little bit of burn um, for an 86. Keeps you warm in the throat, but... Do you enjoy being warm in the throat? Sometimes. Okay. And there's definitely a, I think there's a little bit of rye hint in there. I don't know, there's definitely like a, some type of grain, weedy taste to like a lower, lower aged bourbon product it's my far left is i'm i i struggle or i would like you guys to understand that i believe that you're gonna you're not gonna watch this episode and think we're one of either one of us is gonna be like oh this is you know like it's 86 it's stuff we've tried before except for this one and this one isn't something that we ever even heard of so it's right. not something and it's not a hundred bucks it's you know so I don't think we're going to, either one of us is going to be like, holy crap. Yeah, this, this is crazy is good. Yeah. I must have more of this all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we might think <laughs> because of the previous episode with all your explaining very well and doing a very insanely intricate job of the cocktails mm -hmm. you made. Like maybe one of these would be better than one of those cocktails. Or oh, maybe yes. that's something that you would be able to say more at the end of these, this episode, if you will. Entirely possible. If you, there is a bourbon that you're not particularly fond of, you want to find a way to basically drink it without drinking it straight, the cocktails are the way to go. Right. And if you would like, you can look at the previous episode somewhere around here, maybe. The only reason it's okay that if you drop that episode earlier is because it kind of talked about my birthday. If you wait till like August and people are like, dude, he was born in June. Like, what is this? What's that about? What's that? Plus, plus, I gotta see what the hell you're talking about when you said there's something in the episode I don't know about. He has no idea. It's driving me crazy. It's not really, because I love this stuff, but look, I don't hate this. Whatever I tried in the left cup, I don't hate it. I, yeah, no, it's, there's sweet notes, but there's also a little bit of tartness for an 86. Right. It's so. an 86 proof. That's what I'm thinking often. This one's very sweet in the nose. My second. The second one is sweet in the nose, huh? The middle. You want middle, right? I did do a middle. Just making sure we're doing the Two same. Two is usually between one and three, so second one would be middle. I'm just... Gonna throw that out there. Is a... But is it the same in the multiverse? Usually. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's not what Doctor Strange number seven with his 17th eye told me. He loves that chick in every multiverse, every everyone, but he still doesn't get her. That's sad. Sad. You know, <laughs> I never thought of anything like this until you told me, but does Doctor Strange ever have a love interest? Like, in a lot of those movies, everybody has a love interest. Yes, it's the chick that he showed up to the wedding in the beginning of the... That's her, Rachel. In the beginning of the the movie, the Rachel. first movie. No, in the the Doctor Strange movie, the multiverse the first? movie. Rachel, he goes to that wedding where she's getting married. Oh, it's Rachel McAdams. Yeah, it plays the part. Okay, right, right, right. I it's been so long since I watched the original Doctor Strange, mm -hmm. and then I saw the Multiverse of Madness because we had to go see it and this that, and the other, and that was everywhere. There's too much for me to try to. It's like I, Michelle I, Branch, just everywhere. I. You and your musical, like, yeah, I don't, you must just, I don't even know, but. I'll turn it inside out so you can see. These guys would like me to muddle, mutter more sentence fragments in this episode or any other episode. So this one's not Ooh. bad. I like the nose on my middle more than my left. Yeah. My nose. I haven't obviously tasted it. I don't know. Um, I think this is a, this is definitely got some rye in there. I don't know. I'd be hard pressed to tell you the difference between the two, except that this one's sweeter. It would be interesting. 
I, I my mind works in different ways, right? I guess there are different angles. How's sure. that? How many bourbons could we find that don't have rye? Which it's just corn and barley and whatever other wheat. grain, wheat, wheat. You're welcome. Probably several. Yeah? Yeah. If it's several, then we should have some in our inventory Probably. between you and me. So with no rye. Yeah. Okay, I have a picture on my phone that I constantly, it's one of those screenshot things that popped up somewhere. And it's like, it's two columns and it's maybe somewhere between 12 and 16 different distilleries and, and what the grain thing, what their mash bill is. Right. And I don't remember. Guess we're going to have to go digging for some non rye. Yeah, just to wonder, because rye is a very, it's pr I think it's probably the most common secondary grain to corn and bourbon. You think? Well, I've heard but it I know said, that there's, well, in like, because there's whiskey and then there's rye, where rye is like. Taste in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the rye is definitely like the high prominence grain because it is not corn. Like, that's why you can't call them whiskeys or rye, or you call them rye, not whiskeys. Right. Like, rye is overtaken. Well, I think the thing with that is. How many ryes can we buy? And we've already had one on our show, and we know that eventually we're gonna have to get into those because mm -hmm. ryes are half of the freaking experience. Apparently. Right, exactly. It, as far as it's always the dominant. It's most often the dominant grain after corn in all bourbon. Like you have all I said regular Wiseman, and then you have Wiseman rye. Right, okay. and, and you have Elijah so Craig, Elijah Craig like rye, Jefferson rye. Like almost every single bourbon company has but, an expression in rye. But you never see on the scale, on the scale of rye, you never see anything about corn whiskeys. It's because they're so dominantly rye, it's going to overpower it. You never see wheat whiskeys I mean, unless you, you hear about Maker's Mark. Yeah. There's corn grain alcohol. Like they have right. like that Glen Thunder and stuff like that, where it's like friggin' just straight alcohol, never in a barrel, with just mashed from corn. And it's ugh, awful. I don't think I've ever tried corn whiskey in my yeah, life. It's Have not, you? Yeah, you tried it. I had Glen Thunder, sir. We mixed it with pickle juice, and that was even worse. Is there? Well, I hate pickles. <laughs> I hate pickles. Oh my god! But really, my family loves pickles. I hate pickles. We had a name for this. It was a shot of basically Glen Thunder, which is the corn whiskey, and then pickle juice, and it was we called it Cornish Whale something or other, and I don't remember it, but it was. There's no reason for us to have called it that. But it was not good. No. I don't. I don't suggest it. Between your first two tastes, uh, do you have one that you think? Dude, I can't even tell what the hell ones, which ones, which. Like, no, they, no, no, they're no. so I mean, similar. Do you have a, if you were going to take another sip based on taste, would you taste the left or the right? I don't know. Between the ones we've tasted, they're so similar. I couldn't tell you. Hey, listen. I came up with the idea of eighty six. I found three eighty sixes that I had. Like they're all eighty six. Okay. I, I I don't know what else to say to that. And we know something, we know something, we know nothing, or we know very little, we know a little bit, and a little bit, or something like that. The middle one's a little bit rougher. Okay. I'm not going to look at your results till we decide to do the results thing. I'm not even going to figure that out. That's fair. This is our sixth blind, though. So, number three. All right, yeah, we're going to go that far, huh? We All got right. it. Someone's well, got it. Eventually, <laughs> someone's got to We got to bring in a third party. He didn't show up. I'll tell you about him. Andrew. He didn't show up for work, but he's getting a lot of benefits for it. But, um, okay, you might want to edit that. No, I can definitely. Fucked up joke that I just made. I didn't hear it. Uh, me either. Yeah, no, I don't know what to talk about, so stop bothering me. No, but I do have a guy who wants to bring us some Buffalo, Buffalo Trace products down from Buffalo. Buffalo from Buffalo. You, should we shout out to your boy who got the Remus and the Welder? Cheers to you, sir, for getting me some excellent options when you went down into Ohio. Yeah, and uh, he may be his name, he may, but cheers. He may be joining us for an episode if you're cool with it for uh, Buffalo from Buffalo. He's gonna Buffalo from Buffalo that got us the Ohio mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, Buffalo Trace products that he's gonna bring down from Buffalo. I met a couple of people ask me if they could be on a show, and I was like, depending on the person who asked, I was like, no. <laughs> or I was like, um. Well, this this gentleman got me in a couple groups, and he's gotten me a couple bottles, so I feel like we can. Uh, he he's a big fan of the bourbons, so I feel like he would be an excellent addition just for. And plus, if he's bringing us bottles down, we don't have to buy them. <laughs> you pay him back though. No, I'm he saying he's, he's bringing his own collection of oh his stuff, trace stuff right. from Buffalo. That could be that could go in depth if he's such a person that has yeah. that kind of inventory and that kind of knowledge. That as far as one episode, maybe it could turn into more than one, and maybe it could also you turn into. Know. 
what what's the tiebreaker of this? Like maybe yeah. we should bring in you Buffalo know, farts. Um, Buffalo man. Yeah. You know. We'll call him Bison just to piss him off. Yeah, that'll work. I'm sure. So, is it a guy you went to college with? No, because you were in guy went to high school. Buffalo, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he go to college in Buffalo like you did? He went to college in multiple places. Okay. But <laughs> yeah. Never, exactly. never the same university. No. He's well trafficked. Some may say that. There you go. Is he part of your D and D group? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the last night was D and D. It was. Yeah, it was. How late did it go? Uh, like eleven thirty. We that's were, it. Yeah, that's it. We were. And then you we passed were. out because you'd been drinking since eleven thirty in the morning. No, uh, since one. One. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I yeah. I'm sorry, I missed that hour and a half to make yeah. it sound a little bit less like a. Drink. Yeah. <laughs> no. Seriously, man. Like, come on. Like, I didn't start. I didn't start before noon. Like, right. come on. I have. I have standards. Not <laughs> sure. <laughs> so it's like. I have standards. I'm not sure you do. <laughs> well, it was when you were like, I wouldn't do another sip of this white dog for 50 bucks. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, we just did it. I'll drink another shot for five bucks. Like, and you were like, nope, no, sir. I'm no, not. I would not. I was like, I'm a cheap whore. I, I said it and I'll still say it. Like, you you said it on the last thing we taped today. Like, he's like, he'll finish this. It don't matter how she does. It doesn't, matter. It doesn't it. matter. It's true. I'm the bourbon dumpster. It's, I just. That'd have been a cool nickname. I. <laughs> I'll, I'll make a t-shirt that says bourbon dumpster right yes. on it. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a very clever idea. I like it. I thought about making shirts that said neat and rocks. And then if they bought yours or mine, one went to one charity, one went to the other as far as like this dollar here, this dollar there. So interesting. Anyway, nonetheless, number three, shout out to imperfectly perfect creations who helps us make all our shirts that you see us wear. And she helped. She designed this one. Okay. To agree, and I, you know, just shouting that out, you know, people yeah. who help us. To you. Um, I don't like this one. The third one? No, I don't like it. On the far right? Nope. It's not my thing. I'm, I'm trying I'm literally trying not to look at what you have on purpose because I want to I want you to get the honest opinion. I don't want to no, skew that it. by saying really this, like, uh, what I glance and I'm like, you don't like that. Are this, you serious? this grain profile is just not leaving a, a pleasant taste in my mouth, whatever that is. Hmm. But it's not it's not my favorite. Did you you ju you tasted yes mm -hmm. okay because I'm just sniffing so I just want to make sure. Um, the nose feels the nose on my third one my far right um nose is heavier but doesn't nose worse it just nose is heavier like I feel like I'm not sure 100 percent if I'm going up but I'm either going up or kind of going up and down but so they're all 86 proof and I honestly couldn't tell you what's what at this point. All I can tell you is that number three is not my favorite. Numbers one and two are very hard to distinguish. I'm guessing one of these is Angel's Envy. That'd be smart since one of them is Angel's Envy. You're so smart. I know. I He's incredibly smart. 66% chance of being correct on that. I've said it a thousand times. You're incredibly smart anyway. So to make fun of you for a split second when you said I'd be willing to bet one of them is Angel's Envy. <laughs> <laughs> At first, too. The third one I built something. Oh, yeah, he's going to make it look like a But fool. you are, I don't know. No, I'm not. I've never. Is it possible? Yeah. For I'm me saying. to make you look like a Every fool? day. I completely disagree. Because you're, there I is no one anywhere near that. Street smarts and then there is wisdom. When we tried Angels on B before, and I'm pretty sure it's on. We tried it several times. The first time I wasn't a big fan. The second time I was a much bigger fan of it. And now this time, as you don't know... I'm assuming it's one of the two that I'd enjoyed. This one I did sense. not enjoy. Would that mean... Now, this is the original bottle, too. Yeah. Um, when we did a special tribute episode that I wanted to do that was about my parents and whatever, it was uh, Heaven's Door, because I mm -hmm. said it's cool to have a special occasion, whiskey, bourbon, whatever, to drink when somebody passes away and this, that, and the other. Um, I Heaven's Door got drank through. Drink through, right? Not drive through. That works. Drink yep. through. Um, and so I figured, let's try this one, and I got this one. Or maybe you got this one, and we ended up doing our Train, thing where it's like, yeah. you have this, uh, this, you like this better, and this, that, and the other. Um, and uh, I'm wondering if, the, the whole point of this, my babbling nonsense, is that I wonder if this is better when it gets more open oxygen. Up. Like, yeah, yeah, you open it a little bit. Like, maybe if you have a brand new bottle. Do you drop a couple drops of water? Just a couple drops or one sure. small ice cube, and maybe it really brings out the flavors and the what he would what Lincoln Henderson was expecting for you to get when he did that and when he created that. So anyway. Nonetheless, notwithstanding. So 
as of now, with the first tastes we've had of all three of these, if you... Well, I'm going to ask you, because I'm not asking myself, because that's just weird. Um, then you get into all sorts of... We don't want to do that. What's what's the one right now you would put as your favorite? Just mm, just saying. I feel like my is, my stage right, my far left for you. Almost felt like my middle was my almost favorite. Middle one's in the middle, and then the one on the right is just awful. Stop being redundant. I can't. I, all that's, right. that's how I roll. <laughs> I also roll downhill, so there's that. But I hate the way you trigger me with your jokes. You you set me up to make inappropriate jokes and then yell at me for making the appropriate not yell you don't know, you know what I know mean. what you're talking about I he does he knows I have no idea it's like now I gotta edit that yeast infection see he just slaps. the slap was epic you made the slap noise so well with your forehead when you when I said that one you really gonna edit out one time of me saying those words oh, people get those like that's isn't that the same thing as somebody getting like a foot infection or a, a, a fib infection on their hands or an infection somewhere. No one really talks about it outside in polite conversation. <laughs> Do you think people refer to us as polite? No. Okay then. So we're good. No. See what I mean? No. So, look at that. I made sense sort of in a way. Um, that's a great piece. Well, it'll, it'll go to the bloopers. It'll, no, well, that'll be good too though. Yeah. You should be like x-rated bloopers or you put a parental advisory up to the a parental? Never mind. Never mind. Blooper advisory. Blooper advisory for those who could get triggered, even though you're not, you're a parent and you're like thirty something years old and quit being whiny little fox. I said it one time, one time, and I see my son, my twelve year old son, watch shows on top of shows on YouTube where they throw inappropriate words in there, and the people have thousands and thousands of subscribers. Yeah, we have forty three. Please subscribe. Yeah. And like us because we will donate a dime for every subscriber to our bottle. And when it becomes $100 and 1,000 subscribers, we will donate it to uh, Wounded Warriors or another veteran's charity. True. Anyway. With that. So. Don't edit that. That was so good. I said one time. Yeah. I know. It's got to be done. I, it's it's got to be done. I disagree. So, which one are we thinking? For your number one. Sometimes my words don't come through because it's a little like I kind of get up there and be like, oh, okay, that's probably not going to hit either. <laughs> don't make us bland and boring. Like I can't. Okay. I can't make us bland and boring. We are nothing if you're not unique snowflake warriors. And the title of this episode will be Snowflake Warriors. We Volume 1. Are for the Warriors. True story. So... Which one are you putting forward as your best foot? Uh, as of right now, and this is tough, yeah. I actually don't know if this isn't, and we've only done five before now, this isn't the blind episode where every single bottle was the exact same proof. Yes. So this might be the first of those. So, therefore, if we get it wrong, if we, A, if we get it wrong, yeah. get shit. We don't care. I you care just leave us alone. Point. Deeply, I care. I, I don't care at all. That's fair. Like, if you're, if you're upset because I didn't know which one was which and they're all 86 proof, then that's a you problem. And you need to seek therapy. You need to send us a lot of money. And you need to buy a lot of t-shirts. And you need to subscribe <laughs> numerous times. And then leave me alone. Um, I'm, I'm so, I think I'm in the middle. I think the middle is middle's your favorite. favorite. Okay. So I said my far left was my favorite. Do yeah. you want to, oh wait, what now do we want to, even just for fun, because in every other episode, we've at least guessed. Just guessed. I'll guess Angel's Envy for my favorite. I... The only reason I'm going to say it is because the only one we've picked in this lineup ever in other other things is the Great Jones. I guess I'm going to say Great Jones because we picked Great Jones as our favorite. Uh, do you want to reveal or do you want me to reveal? I'm like four pages of deep. Okay. What, you said the middle one's your favorite? Yes, the middle one is in fact. Dun dun dun! Angel's Envy. Oh, what? No! I don't know if I'm happy about that. I don't even care. Like, I'm just, it's like, whatever. And I guess that my far left was my favorite, was also Angel's Envy. You said, you, you're guessing Angel's Envy. Yes. But it's your favorite either way, as far as those three. Sure. Sis William Wolf. What? Yep. Shut your mouth. Nope. 
And I made sure, because even though we had done one episode, I was like, I swirled and wrote and swirled and wrote and scribbled it out. It's William Wolf. Interesting. It's his far, is his favorite. And I picked, I picked Angels Envy and I thought it was Great Jones. You picked William Wolf and you thought it was what? Angels Envy. So, yeah. but again, it's the first time we've done an episode. But I, all I also proof. said that I'd be very hard pressed to distinguish between these two. Right. So if my middle one is Angels Envy. It was hard pressed. Yeah, like it's all, you know, that was... The third one I wasn't so a huge similar. fan of, but... All right, so I'm done with the middle. We know what it is. We know I picked it. It is You're done with the far left. That's right, and that is Greg Jones. And you were hard-pressed to pick left or middle. I was hard-pressed between the two, though. My, my left, their right, and my middle. And... Hmm. So my second favorite would definitely be the middle, which at this point I would have to guess is Angel. My second favorite would be the far right. Now... Did I reveal yours first the last time? Or did I you... revealed you first last time. Okay, so I'll reveal you. You're saying the middle was the one you... This one would be... Were... This would have to be my second guess is to... This is Angel. Because you fought with it over the left. Yeah. Okay. In the middle. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me get to that page. Don't... I always look at this like it's the fucking... <laughs> That's the time. Right. right. I know, but you you have that diaper on it, and it's... What? I know it's not a diaper. The thing, the piece of... I'm just trying to make it so your eyes pop. Well, I... <laughs> It is my best feature. Don't know if I told you. What? Wait, what? Middle? What's my middle? What's my middle? Angel's Envy. That's right. There. So, yeah. And I'm saying, I, I think my far right, would I would probably buy, in a, in a, in a, like, if it's just in a bottle and saying, oh, you pick this as number one. Like, I think it's the, my far right. So, I don't know. What do you think your far right is? What was my first one? Your first one was the middle with Angel's Envy. And my far right's my second favorite. Mm -hmm. My first one I thought was Great Jones, and it wasn't. So I'm going to have to say my no, far right is Great Jones. That is correct. Okay. So, so my we least both favorite put, is William. We both put Wolf at the end. The William Wolf. Your Wolf was your William Wolf three. was your number one. No. Yes. Your William Wolf, Wolf was far left. That was the really? fair favorite. That's what I said at the beginning. Wow. That's what I said. Well, not mid midway through. Just so my least out. favorite was the Great Jones. Yes. Of these. Three. So this yeah. was my Wolf. Yes. This was my Angels. Yes. This was Great Jones. That's right. This was your Wolf. This was your Angels. And this is your Great Jones. Does that mean that one? I mean, I know you only have three choices. But how the fuck does that I, mean? I don't know, man. I don't Sorry know. about that word. My so right here, here we man, go. It's a bourbon show. All right. This was this was how they were for both of us. That's wild. I didn't pick... Um, we do this wolf. line, too. That's nuts. I didn't pick Wolf as number one. No, but that was the lineup. Oh no! Yeah, we like you're right. Exactly. This, this is, so Jones, this is the first cover. This is the middle, yeah. and this is the right on both of these. That That's leaves it. the hint of like when we do this. If we do a South Carolina episode, should we find two more South Carolina bourbons? Maybe we can uh, put that up against it as far as us talking about it, discussing it, and flavor notes and things like that. Sure. We we don't really with the blinds get into too much of the flavor notes as far as no. like well I smell like that, but I'm not great at that. I don't yeah, know how that, great yeah. you are. I'm sure you're better than I am at that. And and this is and none of these have been open long. We no. opened this for the episode. We opened this for an episode, and we opened this for this episode. So, yep. and we haven't been on for more than a year. It's very interesting that the uh, William Wolf came in number one, one for me. For you, That's wild. I would but never have like, William Wolf came in one, number two for me, because we. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, Gray Jones was the last. Yeah. So, step up your game, Gray Jones. We need to find better New York bourbons. Do we need to actually invest the 80 bucks it takes to get a Hill Rock? No. Well, probably not. Actually, I had a guy in one of the groups on Facebook I'm in say, when I posted our uh, New York episode, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, this was the winner of these ones. And it was Southern Tier, this one in uh, Mackenzie. Yeah. And he said, um, he said Hill Rock was one of them, but he said, try this too. And I don't have it in front of me and I'll show it to yeah. you. But he was like, try to get this. And it was something that, when he, when I looked at the picture, it was something that we've had, we've seen recently. Sorry, Just not we've had. Yeah, but but that I've seen as far as like we might be able to find a bottle of that. Sure. And I want to say it started with a T. Like I'm not going to go into the Terrascon brothers and all that, but it's something to do with a T. Okay. Anyway, that was an interesting blind. That was I her can't... first blind yeah. with all the exact same proofs. That's wild. And yeah, it, again, it was very. Very hard pressed for me to figure out which one was which, except for number three. I didn't know what it was. I just knew I didn't like it. 
And so, the one you didn't like the most was what? Gray Jones. Gray Jones. And Gray we, Jones beat Southern Tier which, and McKenzie. That's wild. So these would both beat those by uh by the properties of you know yeah. combat. So that's wild. New York, you gotta step up your game. Sorry. Yeah, it's you got beat by this no name South Carolina we knew nothing about. That being said, we haven't tried Widow Jane. No. Have you had a Widow Jane ever? I've seen it. You've seen it. I've seen it too, but I thought for some reason I thought maybe you had one at some point. There's a couple different Widow Janes. And Widow Janes got bought out by Heaven Hill. So, but I think from what I've seen, uh, the Widow Jane Distillery is still part of that. It's just that they bought it and now they're in charge and they probably put somebody ahead of somebody else who is in charge of stuff and this, that, and the other. Right. Now. So, well, with that, I'm so right. now you know for 86 proofs. Maybe go with an angel or uh, William Wolf if you're really short for cash and you want to try something to bring you into 80 range. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or you want to make a cocktail like yeah, your last episode. Try you want to rock out a like, old thing. Sure. Work for a cocktail. Yeah, certainly. Um, but with that, I'm neat. I'm rock. And this is The Bourbon Barrel. Barrel.